can either side match champions Barcelona, Real Sociedad and the three Madrid clubs by opening with a win. Good attendance at Lesama for the start of this new La Liga FA season for these two sides. Again for all the family. And we are just minutes away now from kickoff in this one. An action-packed season coming up in Iraya Itzuregi. Means her first starting eleven of the season. A returning athletic manager. Plenty of starts for. A side that, as always, features plenty of homegrown talent owing to the selection policy of Athletic. And home fans out in numbers today as they welcome their side back into action. It was a mixed bag for both teams last season. Athletic coming in seventh in the end. A far cry from their glory days with their five titles. And a side who weren't all that far behind, Sporting Club Huelva. Flying the flag as the only top flight football team in their city now, following the downfall of Recreativo de Huelva. Antonio Toledo, who led them a few short years ago to the final of the Copa del Arena, is back in the dugout for this one. And a lush green surface at Lezama. We hope that's conducive to plenty of flowing football today. Both sides missing out on action last season, last season, last week. Due to the referee strike that unfortunately delayed the rollout of this new edition. And we're back underway as both sides looks to improve on medium showings last time out. Last season saw Barcelona race to a seventh league title. And they did so without as much as dropping a point. Leaving Real Sociedad a good 24 points in their wake. Real Madrid in third. And it has been an action-packed summer for women's football. And now we continue into the autumn as the two sides are led out at Lezama. And to a man, woman and child, everyone pleased to see the return of La Liga F8. Coming to you today, Athletic Club taking on Sporting Huelva. And what will the new campaign bring for these two sides? We've had plenty women's football to feast our eyes on during the break in the domestic season England taking Euro glory at Wembley Brazil beating host Colombia in the final of the Copa America at the end of July now it's back to league action we'll see what these two sides can do to threaten the dominance of the big clubs at the top Well, it was Barcelona and Madrid club the football that got us underway yesterday in the lunchtime kickoffs. Barcelona running into a two goal lead in the second half, and Madrid following that up away at Alaves. Led on to wins for Real Madrid and Real Sociedad later on in the evening fixture. Atleti opened their account for the season with a 3 1 win over Sevilla. Now, though, down to these two. A hugely promising 11. You can see that Patria Ojeda, defender, bringing in her side for the first team talk of the season and what it would mean if Antonio Toledo's girls could start this campaign with a win against a side that they will expect to be battling it out for in those middle reaches of the table. It's a bit early to coin the term six pointer, but these two sides will know that they are well matched. Two opposing 16s, Azcona and Castillo, we put through their paces. And taking charge of this one, Talbo Valentin. And marshalling the troops again, Bibiana Schulster. She was a controversial addition to the athletic squad. Questions were asked about her eligibility. She does come from Basque heritage on her mother's side and she'll be looking to prove herself in front of home fans this season. As will the rest of them. No false starts as we're underway for more La Liga FA football.
Now your B team product in the home team's lineup. But it's a foreign born player, Zana Mershnik, who will lead in the back. The sporting Huelva, and it will be they who get us underway in this new season. We're underway. And a chance now to hit the ground running. The two sides, you know that every second counts. And you want to catch up with the highlights and leading lights of the women's game in Spain and also across Europe. What a place to do it. The beautiful facility of La Sama. There may be an even more beautiful facility here up the road. Very short for Sporting Huelva. Of course, there was that La Liga men's first division side for many a year with Recreativo. It's the final of the Copa del Rey back in 2003. They've fallen on hard times and they may be about to set up a ground share, but it's the only tap for Athletic and in behind. And could this be? What a start this might be. Great save. Is it tapped home? There it is. The look to the flag. And the flag's going to stay down. And what a start to the season for Anasaga. Inside the first minute. Disappointing for Mershnik. Couldn't get down to it quick enough. And Johnny Amisaga opens her account for the new season. And it's the dream start at Lasana. Well, no question of the offside. Well timed run into the back post. And you can see already the pace of Amaya trying to break that defence apart. The initial shot from Mariana. Mershnik did well. But was powerless to keep out the second effort. And already now, after just 90 seconds, this is a real task, facing Huelva away from home. What a brilliant beginning. And some fans hadn't reached their seats quite yet. But already now, the home side, with the wind in their sails. And Johnny Amisaga, well, she'll have a spring in her step. Maria Navarro. Back steadily. No one keen to force the issue just yet. We have to be careful here now, Huelva. Important to chase that game, but you do risk exposing yourself and leaving too many holes at the back. And the pace already. Athletic building again. This time the challenge does come in. Going from the mistakes. Peke earning her nickname for not being an imposing figure physically in the penalty area, but that low centre of gravity always a difficulty. Maria Nevada with the corner. Mershnik gets there. It doesn't have to be pretty. Industrial football from Huelva. Local bounce, Bibiana unable to contend with that moving ball though. And it's difficult to see the game plan materialising for Huelva in the early stages. No doubt rocked by that early goal inside a minute. Well, by Bibiana. Plenty of movement for Patria Hader. Not quite firing. Born to Mira, there was that. Slovakian couldn't do much with it, penned in that corner.
Bimiana again. Plenty of time now for Athletic. That's the luxury of the one goal lead. Passing triangles again. More danger down that right hand athletic flank. Anna Carroll dealing with it well. Mireya Nevado. Mariana. Bibiana. Valderate now. Still building well. It's the key outlet, that right flank, and once again, pressure telling, corner it will be. And then Raya Itaregi, former Spain international, can only be happy with a side start. Is it about to get better? Key member of the Alaves unit last season, Rey Nibardo. What could she do here? All the flick on was there. Dealt with well by Anna Carroll. Rey Nibardo once again, dangerous cross. They do not clear. Oh, it could have been spectacular. Well, you cannot blame Johnny Amasaka for having a go. She's got one to her name already, and it fell right onto her boot. Just couldn't get the control this time from a further distance. That one not too troubling. There's Alan Mershnik. Santana there to the semi-finals of the Copa America this season with Argentina lost to the Colombian hosts themselves beaten in the final by Brazil good one too now Pamira is away can she beat the defender good marshalling from Bibiana oh, they're just enough for Antonio Toledo's thoughts right now. Nightmare start to the campaign. Bibiana, seen plenty of the ball. Rene Nevado. Valdezate. That might stretch well but somewhat. Is the touch too heavy? Let off for the away side. And they've been beaten time and time again down that far flank. Noihane with the pace each time. Never ideal for a goalkeeper. Picking the ball out of your net within 60 seconds of the new season starting. Donna Mershnik, who's 21 years old, the Slovenian. Will be a test of character like nothing else. Maria Navardi. Amizaga. Good battling to win it back. Can't find that ball to stick in the middle of the park. Patria Heide. Chance for Mirava. It's the cross in, it's dangerous, oh, just the defensive header in time. Vanessa Santana locked in a battle with Ortega. And the play has done well there. Bibiana. 
Van der Sarte again. That one too heavy for Amethaga. Might get a second chance at it. Not if Miraba has anything to say about it. Adria Hader. Helped up by Anna Carroll, but they can't find a way through. Brazilian marshalling the troops. Bibiana with the clearance. Peke. Take it. Oh, this place ball. You haven't seen much of Raydel in Carrasco so far. 20 year old Colombian with a wonderful left foot. She too part of the Copa America action this summer with the native Venezuela. Carrasco with the throw. Valdez Arte always the favourite. And almost fading into the uh, shadows there, Quinones in goal. Hasn't had too much to do so far. Seven years at Real Sociedad before she made the move to Athletic. The relatively short hop last season. Space down that flank. It's been her own so far. And the offside call to boot, but the defender, you always felt the favourite. Well, we're not benefiting from uh, VAR, but it certainly looked as if the run was timed well enough by uh, Mariah Lee. Valde Sarte with the crossfield pass. Mireya Nevado. And Bibiana being afforded so much time on the ball. Vanessa Santana unwilling to close down. Nor is Lee. Down the right flank again. Mojane, dangerous cross in, back post, oh, it could have been two. And the chance presented itself to Peke, went flying after it. And again and again, Athletic showcasing their venom on the counter. All started with that long ball from the back. A twisting run for Mojane, delivered on a plate at the back post. Just couldn't get there in time. And already the home side establishing their dominance. They've led since the first minute. The chances have been all their own. Lorena Vado's throw. Bibiana. Maldonado. Mojane. Lee looking to close down. Not the easiest for Mireya Navarro to deal with. Mineva was right on top of it. Johnny Alifago. It's her goal that separates us. Frustration still. For Coach Toledo. Oh, 
Ray Navarro again. Chasu hasn't seen too much of the ball in that midfield. Most of the action coming down the wide parts. Very comfortable in possession. Valdez Arte's ball. Chase is on. Cautious defending, might it fall? Mariana can't get the shot away. Norkin. Mirava managed the clearance. It's given away again. Mariana, tricky feet. And in the end, it needed a boisterous tackle from Patrick Ojeda. Athletic just asking too many questions of their guests this afternoon. Well put by Mershnik. Starting to grow into the game now, the Slovenian. And a big shout as well. Young goalkeeper not afraid to command her area. Nevertheless, she'll be disappointed with the manner of concession for the opener. Is there to be more misery yet? A little arm into the back from Michasso, just enough to lever her opponent offer for all her chasing mariah lee has hardly managed to put the foot on the ball and here it goes again stretching that defense one more time there's the cutback and hacked clear by patrio up now here's lee can she use her pace tries to chip in the chase but expertly read by bibiana Well, but feeding off scraps in these opening exchanges. They've gone hungry so far. On Zate. Bibiana again. Tries to release Nevea Nevado. And she got there in time. He has a good look. Seems happy. Seemed to slow her run. The athletic player always seemed favourite for it. it. Allowed Sandra Castell to get the better of it. A little too aggressive for the referees, like it from Vanessa Santana. And the Argentine certainly overzealous and into the dangerous category. All well, the offence, the Chasso doesn't seem to be too affected by it and so a chance now again for the home side to inflict further misery it's been a positive start for Nestak training ground move it will be and Carroll's header away what can Lee do and turns away from Mariana. And still, it seems at the moment, Huelva not singing from the same hymn sheet. No lack of effort, but haven't been allowed to exercise their creative arm. Maria Nevado. Valdezarte. Difficult 
responsibility for Anna Zaga. She's running around. Whoa, and uh, certainly seems to be a coming together between herself and uh, Patricia Mirova. The Slovakian not shying away from the challenge. Referee seemed happy with it. No reaction from Carlo Ballantin. And can Huelva build on this rare spell of possession in the attacking third? Ojeda's throw, Ojeda's cross. It hung dangerously in the air. And still unable to break through despite the best efforts of Athena Q. Lee underneath it. Bit clear by Ortega. Not convincingly, though. It's just ahead of Castillo. Might there be something building on the right-hand side, though? Here comes the pace. And Patria Hader worker magic. And again, Bibiana. Showing experience beyond her years. Able to snuff that one out. Only 23. The German-born defender started her career at Frankfurt. There's a moment at Valencia last season, managed 12 starts. Just scrapping away to avoid relegation at the last, the Valencians. Four points clear of Abar, they finished. Abar and Rayo Bayacano, we lost. And could there be more? Again now, Peke. Using that low centre of gravity. Ortega. That's the pace, but not the accuracy this time. And well, we can take solace from the fact that the goal mouth of Zala Mershnik has been quieter over the last 10 minutes. The home side were peppering it with attacks have largely found themselves limited to merely crossing opportunities that's gone sky with Santana underneath it and only directed to Echasso Lubiana we've seen more of the ball than any other player Athletic's strong start, still seeing them in the driving seat in this one. Tepper has dropped somewhat. Ortega. Chasso not given much time on the ball, but has reinforcements defensively behind it. Valdez Arte. And every time that chip comes down the right flank, Athletic look to threaten. Carrasco juggling it. Pass not accurate enough to find Lee. Castillo might have a go though. Here's Patria Hader. She's got Mirava down the line. Could have gone for it, opted to go herself. A bit of fortune in the uh, first instance. Now, here's the foot race. And what can be done by Peke? Still waiting for options. Mariana now. Have to try something. For the first time, Athletic just didn't have the bodies at disposable. And still threatening on the counter. Patricia Balchazak not had too much to do in the centre of the park. Behind a challenge for it by Lee. It's Castillo who comes up with it. Quinone is short to Balizate. Mojane again. Into a ninth season.
Nowhere to go for Nerea Navardo. You get the feeling she didn't want that ball. Target and was always going to be Viviana for that one. Santana sniffing it out. Signs of renewed vigor for Huelva. We were behind in the opening minute. The Chasso back into the defense. Headed down belongs to Anna Carroll. Valdezarte. Now the chip and the fence is wide open. Just too much air on it in the end. The questions have to be asked of Welbert. Each time the plan seems to be a mirror image. And yet each time Antonio Toledo's visiting side unable to deal with the pace of attack. Carroll loses the header. Bounces out back to the goalkeeper. And fed again to the red shirts. Mariana, just a quick turn. If we may come back for that one, and Anisaga and does so. And that trio involving Peke as well have been causing no end of problems on the left side of midfield. Anna Carroll, you sense the 32-year-old knowing what she was doing and plenty of time to react was beaten and the veteran centre-back unafraid to involve herself in physicality on the field but it has gone against her this time. We've seen what Athletic can do from the aerial ball and that has led well, but long beyond the perimeters of the penalty area. Maria Nevado's cross. As the yellow heads clear. Valdezarte on the edge of the box just couldn't turn that one into the path of the teammate. And it doesn't need to be any urgency. Quinones. Maria Navarro. We've seen Valdez Arte push forward when the attacks are on, and Maria Navarro now coming out to that left hand side. She'll fill in at the back to close that gap. Bibiana coming back into the central role. Cheaply, Castillo on two with Kuhn, can't find Lee. A scratch of the head. Possession has been there in the last 10 minutes for Huelva. We've started to see more of the ball, at least in the midfield third, but still waiting for that first real chance. Athletic didn't have to wait long for theirs. Johnny Amasaga tapping in after the spill. Zala Mershnik, opening minute of the match. Balchazak, gets a second go at it. Aerial play from Lee, but it's worked against her. And Chasso, had to cut it inside. Amisaga again, could have been a second. Got right underneath the ball. Athletic, exceedingly dominant in coming forward. Johnny Amasaga couldn't get a shot on target. All brought about by the play of a chasso down the wing. It was a lovely run and it drew the defence out too. She had perhaps more room than she bargained for. Mascona, you might ask the question, 
Another tackle there on Raidlin Carrasco. Could have been slightly high. Referee Carl Valentin was happy to let it go in the first instance. Plenty of flair from the Venezuelan, but it didn't help her side much in the end. Bibiana to Amasaga. Well, that gave more than a slice of it to Santana there. Valdezarte. Here they go again. Denied by Ohane. She thought she had. The presence of uh, Raymond Carrasco just enough to put her off. I can see that involvement again with uh, Raidling Carrasco and Ascona and the advantage was played it was played too athletic and well it would be certainly interesting had that gone the other way but the fact of the matter Johnny Amasaga unable to convert at the other end and that has kept Twelver just about in this first half Still being asked to Carrasco Ascona. That might be a running battle to keep uh, on top of. The two points of the game as we enter the middle third. Peke with the twist. She did well, tight to the line to keep that ball in play. Just needed a bit more angle to bring her two teammates in. And it's been. A more confident performance from Zala Mershnik since that opening goal. Maria Nevado's had it. More options remain for Patria Haida. Certainly has air on the throat. Not much Lee could do with it, though. Bibiana with work to do to jockey that behind. Confident performance so far from the centre-back. And Lee, an exciting prospect, the American. When able to get a sight of goal. Valdezarte. Hane. Arte again. And Toledo's team not wanting to ignite the press. Might there be a ball over the top here? And it looked for a moment. If Ortega might have the pace to get in behind. That ball just held up ahead of Mershnik in the end. Carrasco. Aiming for Lee. Big effort to keep it in. It wasn't in vain. Kuhn. Finds a fellow American. Carrasco. Alters that flying into the challenge. Nice from both sides. Scrappy passage of play that might have, that might benefit athletic crunching challenge. And uh, no doubt in the referee's mind that it was too strong from Laya Bayeste. Clearly see got the leg first. And a quite enough game from the centre half, but Johnny Amasaga certainly felt welcome there. Saga's goal the difference. Carrasco just as enough. Wraps it off Oihani Shins too for good measure. There'll be plenty to think about now for Antonio Toledo's team talk as he returns to the 
Dressing room in 10 minutes time or so. Will the status quo remain until then? Mariana. Lorena Vardo. Mariana with the chip. So much space. And it couldn't be controlled by Ascona. Maya by a state. Starting the Inquisition because there is so much room there for the wide player. A slightly longer pair of studs might have done the trick. Merschnick's goal kick. Ascona got the first touch, but it has found its way to Lee. Ascona wins it back. Valdezarte. Plenty of ground covered by Mariah Lee, but plenty of time on the ball for Athletic at the back. They're not hurried in doing so. Bibiana. Valdezarte forward to Ortega. A chip from Machasso. Ascona again, burning into the penalty area. What might this bring? Always oh, on a plate. Could it be? There's the second. Tucked away by Peke, but it won't count. Or has it been turned round? Will it? The referee happy. He looked for a moment as if there might be the stoppage, but it will be racked up on the scoreboard. And Peke, it wasn't pretty, but she did the business in the end. And a shake of the head from Mershnik. What about the run down the side? Ascona with the pace, getting in behind the defence. Keeps well to that line. Clearly played on by Patria Hayder on the near side. Carrasco couldn't get back. And calling out for it was Mariana. But the gap opening up again in the defence. Mariana graciously stepping aside and allowing Peke to tuck that one home. Queuing up in the end. And it's a sixth goal in athletic colours for Peke. Taking athletic further beyond their guests. And Welver, though they have looked more resilient in defence, have struggled to fashion any chance of note. And that might just come back to bite them now. Happy touch from Mirava. Maria Nevada. Body checked by Mirava. The dancing feet just too quick. The Slovakian coming in with full force. Valdezarte. Peke. Valdezarte again. Mojane. This is Ortega. It's going in the middle. It could be there. Had it away by Anna Carroll. Ortega again. Amisaga. Ortega can't find the way through. Kuhn steals it back. He lets that one go. The effort from distance and well tips over by the goalkeeper. Peke with the effort. Mershnik had to be at full strike to contend with that. Valtazak thought she had more time. Peke, why not? Looking for her second. Oh, she'd caught the goalkeeper unsighted. Good save from the Slovenian. Vicky and Swinger, but not this time. Always one up the sleeve. Donna Mershnik visibly unhappy with the defence following the second. 
Those ones she will take all day long as we edge towards half time. Heavy touch from Amasaga might present an opportunity here. Dina Kuhn. Patria Hayden's ball though. Lacks the pinpoint accuracy it needed. Now he's Arte. Side flag will be up, but that's kind of what thought she could have been away. Had a quick look along the line. Mariana in there too. Well, if you look across, she's certainly played on by Patria Hader. It's the second call we've had now where there's been clear daylight. And as it stands, it won't affect proceedings too much. Athletic. Certainly in the driving seat, but that's kind of what I thought she was away. Opportunity for Carrasco's cross. Dangerous, can it be turned home? Awkward one to deal with. Lee's in there too. Kuhn arriving. Had to clear over the head of Ortega. She can chase this one down. Now Jazak mopping up. The Polish player using her physical stature in between player and ball hasn't let her presence be too known so far it's been athletic who commanded the middle of the park Patria Hader called for it it's going to lead to chase it down but again Bibiana is the first to it Quinones still with little action to face in the athletic goal Skona sees that one bypass it. Carrasco picks out Lee. And arriving with a beer cross. All towards the back post. It's fourth to save. Castello couldn't get there. Hacked clear. Patria Hayden now. Dribbles at the first attempt, but Bibiana there for the second. And signs of an awakening for the away side. The Andalusians a long way from home and a long way behind their opponents. That's the old. Striving to get there at the back post, but didn't quite find the pace in her legs. Patria Hader's throw. That's Kuhn. Lee will be there, though. Against Mireya Navarro, but it's presented to Amisaga. That's the old with the tackle. Finally, an outlet seems to have been found for Huelva. It just tested the fingertips of Quinones in the end. Had to be aware at her back post, but nevertheless, Patricia Khmerova with Huelva's first real chance of the game. Been behind since the opening minute. Anna Carroll. It was initially controlled by Patria Hader. Couldn't find Athena Kuhn. That dangerous right flank opening up once again for Athletic. Ortega was the option, but Valdesarte the recipient. Viviana's crossfield ball again. Might this cause more problems? And in once more, it's Ascona, it's three. And it was never in doubt this time. A lovely way to pass into the penalty area. And it's left Welver with a mountain to climb. Very little that Zala Mershnik could have done in goal. And Anna Ascona opens her account for the season and increases the lead for the home side. Inch perfect ball. Carrasco couldn't do enough to get goal side. Maya Bayer State could only look on. The control. Excellent the finish. Exquisite. Well, there's never 
a good time to concede. But the 45th minute is probably one of the worst in football. There will be no added time. It spells a sorry end to the half for Sporting Huelva. And it's going to be an interesting team talk now for Antonio Toledo. His side way off the pace in this first period. The goals have racked up. Dione Amasaga, Peke and Anna Ascona netting in a fine midfield performance. One chink of light coming from the boot of Patricia Hmirova. Forced to save out of Quinones at 2-0. As we go in at half-time, it's Athletic who are in the driving seat. The team from the north lead by three goals to nil. Some of you ain't been good enough. So many of you were This is Chelsea. Some breaking news. Sam Kerr is joining Chelsea on a two and a half year deal. It'll be almost like Messi signing for the men's team. It's that big a deal, I think. It's quite annoying that everyone's so focused on Sam. I think people just need to take a step back and actually focus on the girls that are here. In the men's game, you have to play well to belong, and in the women's game, you have to belong to play well. To come in and to fight every day, it takes it out of you. And it's hard when you're just not quite good enough. The first year of being a mum and a manager was so tough. Last year, I felt I neglected the players emotionally. But this season is different. The Zone Soccer Show is here with regular updates on the biggest stories, the biggest names, and the best takes. It's <laughs> come from both of us. What's Paul Shrike? Jimenez. Raul Jimenez. Raul Jimenez, yeah, yeah. That's one for the outtakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Inside info from those in the know as well, taking a global view of the game that we love. The Zone Soccer Show with new content daily. Give me your top five goal scorers this season. Chelsea. Man. Chelsea haven't got anyone no. out there. Sorry, Raheem Sterling. <laughs> <laughs> From free running to Formula One and everything in between, this is the place to see exceptional athletes doing extraordinary things. Whether it's near impossible challenges or life-changing journeys of discovery, these are the innovators pushing the limits of possibility. Incredible moments, unforgettable stories, Welcome to the new home of Action Sports. can even make you or break you. It was tough, but it made me. This was the moment that Anthony Joshua became a major star. I was just shouting at him, like, come on, let's fight, where are you running? Joshua's going for the finish. And this is the, uh, the passion of Dylan White. I thought there was going to be riots in the crowd, I really did. In the space of six years, he'd gone from being a raw novice to going in with one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. Tesco down for the second time and all over the place. You're one shot away from, from trouble or disaster at any point. You have to dig deep, and they're the type of fights that people remember for many years to come.
Fight fans, welcome to the DAZN Boxing Show. Bringing you all the exclusive news, interviews, and outspoken views from the world of boxing. I'm back in beast mode. The fight starts now! Catch the latest boxing news every single weekday. I'm gonna be honest, man. That kid's pissing me off. This is what boxing's all about. From the best fighters to the biggest promoters. Give me some fucking props. The boxing world is going to be buzzing. No one takes you closer to the fight game than the DAZN Boxing Show. Pro at the young age of 15. He was destined for great things. Oh! oh. It's all over. It's over. He knocked him out gold. Oh, no. Oh, nice shot. My boy Canelo, pound for pound, best fighter in the Thank world. You. <laughs> Thank you. Canelo is the beast. You can box at range, you can box up close. I honestly believe nobody can beat Canelo Alvarez. You warm up and tell us what you're doing with your putting. Yeah, mostly uh, when I come, I'll just hit some probably like six or seven footers, fairly straight putts, just kind of get a, a good feel for the stroke. Sometimes I will use something to help me make sure I, I keep my weight a little bit more towards the toes because the, the problem I have is sometimes I get a little bit too much on the inside. Oh, so, so it's like rolling yeah. back on your heels. So if I'm here, it's easier for me to go this way and too much face rotation. So. Try to keep it a bit more on top and then just a little bit more straight back and forth. Have you always done the claw? Yeah, I've gone back and forth. I do the claw probably from about 20 feet in, 15 feet in. I literally just switched to doing the same thing. Yeah. But I'm more like 15 feet, 10 feet and in, in, I'll do the claw. Yeah. Because it just takes my right hand out of it. Correct. The same thing for me. Well, Sergio, thank you, you for spending good. time with us. I appreciate <laughs> thank it. Thank you. Good to see you as good always. Good luck this week. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. The fight starts now! You love the speed, you love the power. Landed by Pacquiao. Look at that. What an incredible back. Floyd knows every trick of the That's trick. That's a great veteran skill by Bernard Hopkins. She's impressing me here. And they respect each other's power, speed, and time. Terrific work from Amir Khan. One big night, you can turn your life around. Alvarez, certainly the future of boxing. What a fight! How do you like it? How do you like it? The fight is over! And still, pound for pound, the best in the world. Well, there is a stunning outcome. A huge upset. How can I get told, oh, you're silver spoon this and that, but yeah, I choose to do the hardest sport in the world. Where's the logic in that? It's such a cop out and excuse for people to give me credit I deserve of achieving what I've achieved because the reality is if they had what I had, they wouldn't do what I do. I'm sitting comfortable. I'm sitting very comfortable. Do I look like I'm slowing down anytime soon? Do I look like my hunger's lacking? The problem is, is when you come from nothing and then you achieve a little something, you think you're there. But the reality is, if you want to do comparisons and I compare myself to my dad and what he's achieved, I ain't even caught all the way there. So, I could have been anything I wanted to be, anything. I chose to fight. Y la gente empieza a gritar Canelo, el nombre de Canelo, algo increíble. I remember hearing that there's a new guy from Mexico touted to be a great. The crowd is electrified. This kid loves it. You just don't fight Floyd Mayweather at that age. Why would you do that? Y pues al final de cuentas yo quiero hacer historia. Ahí está, mira el golpe, ese. Eso fue un golpe muy importante en la pelea. The two Triple G fights were two absolute wars, two epics. That jab opened up a cut on the eyebrow of Canelo. That second fight was for all the marbles. Senté como si me pegaran con algo de 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 hierro, de metal. It's over. Dicen que para toda acción hay una reacción y esa fue mi reacción.
Some of you ain't been good enough. So many of you are This is Chelsea. Some breaking news. Sam Kerr is joining Chelsea on a two and a half year deal. It'll be almost like Messi signing for the men's team. It's that big a deal, I think. It's quite annoying that everyone's so focused on Sam. I think people just need to take a step back and actually focus on the girls that are here. In the men's game, you have to play well to belong, and in the women's game, you have to belong to play well. To come in and to fight every day, it takes it out of you. And it's hard when you're just not quite good enough. The first year of being a mum and a manager was so tough. Last year, I felt I neglected the players emotionally. But this season is different. The Zone Soccer Show is here with regular updates on the biggest stories, the biggest names, and the best takes. It's <laughs> come from both of us. What's Paul Shrike? Jimenez. Raul Jimenez. Raul Jimenez, yeah, yeah. That's one for the outtakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Inside info from those in the know as well, taking a global view of the game that we love. The Zone Soccer Show with new content daily. Give me your top five goal scorers this season. Chelsea. Man. Chelsea haven't got anyone no. out there. Sorry, Raheem Sterling. <laughs> <laughs>time in the first half for Sporting well but Athletic their hosts three goals to the good Athletic coming into this second half and a job on the hands of Sporting well but plenty of smiles on the faces but we'll be down to business in a moment and Antonio Toledo's side have been under it right from the off Joni Amasaga opening the scoring inside 60 seconds. And Peke and Ascona adding to the travelling side woes. And young Barbara Lopez has come into the action, the 17 year old striker. Let's see what she can bring. We get on the way for this second half. So it's Athletic in the driving seat. Well, the foot for one snapshot from Patricia Mira that at 2 0 have done very little. Athletic Quinones. Athletic starting again as they ended the first half with Mireya Lovado. And the target. Goes on the way in fashion. 
by a state. Yeah, it's a half. It's been spectacular for Paolo Romero. <laughs> Take it. Brings in Oihane. Check my Kuhn. Your first chance for Lee to get into the game, but Bibiana once again covering every blade of grass in that defensive third or so it seems. Not to be deterred. The chasso. Viviana. Mariana choosing the conservative option. Well, it was well good at this uh, matchup favoured last season. He had a 2 true draw here at Lasama. It's well that he won when the sides met in Andalusia. It's not going that way today, though. Mariana is possessed by Balczak of Poland. Here's Lee. Not doing enough with it. Balczak again. Fouled. Mariana overzealous in her approach there. Calma Valentin. Not going to let that one go. Another departing face we saw Radlin Carrasco. And occupied that left back position, going off the more attack minded Barbara Lopez. It's a statement from Antonio Toledo's side. something in the second half. Anna Carroll forward towards Lee. A wild shot from the edge of the area. Never looked like threatening. Mirova, a wry smile on her face. It was a good knockdown from the Brazilian defender. Lee just struggling in the presence of Nerea Navardo. A bit open up a slice of space and unfortunately Still swinging away from the control of the Slovakian. <laughs> Macwell. Maldizate. Important for Kinyonis just to keep herself fresh now and in the game. Her hands have had to do very little. Viana forward, Ortega stretching to make the pass, didn't have the accuracy in the end. Anna Carroll. Beat one, but on the ground at the second time of asking. Balch that though, might have a better chance. Barbara. She threatened. All stopped by Oihane. A big moment now to prove herself the young 17 year old Barbara Lopez see Amanda Edgren from Sweden warming up there too possibility on the bench That'll be disappointing for Athena Kuhn Colorado native running out of green down that left flank Athletic side of things. Iraya Iteregi calling out the instructions. Mirava doing well to keep her side at bay, though. It's won back by Amasaga. And room down that left, though. Vatica from Castillo might have come off. Lee couldn't get in, but that's left an opportunity. Here's Barbara. We'll try the shots and 
worthy of having a go. Quinones with a little sidestep, and that was all. Seemingly athletic, so concerned with the movement of Mariah Lee that nobody thought to pick up Barbara Lopez. And a shot at the near post, just lacking in power. And it looked like troubling the goalkeeper. Landers Arte, Ortega, losing out in the aerial battle, but will win the free kick nonetheless. Anna Carroll, who had a considerable height advantage there, missed timing. The aerial challenge. Ortega, ball the brunt of it. Valdezarte, we see what these crossfield balls can do. And a hot shot from effort, from a, a, long, a long effort from distance, and <laughs> didn't quite have the uh, expected outcome. There might be something that can be done to the right with Peke, though. The score of the second looking dangerous, but Patria Haider on hand to mediate. And it's been a more positive start. They're sporting well, but they were behind within a minute of kickoff in the first. And the introduction of Barbara Lopez does seem to have reset the balance somewhat, but facing more danger here. Marina Nevado's corner, Echasso is short. Well put out by Barbara. Strong defensive thinking once more. Santana just doing enough. Mahani's throw. Which is that? Making use of the side from the defensive reaches, and that's done enough. And Chasso with the header back in. Ascona using a tricks, asking all the right questions, and it was shut behind Pulidby in the end by Patrick Ojeda. Real flair player. Score up a third. And they get the way out of the corner. Well, they have been at the expense of possession. Time for Bibiana. The to not to press too hard. Now Zarte runs through the legs of the chest at the first time of asking. There's the ball for Amisaga. Trying to beat the defender to it. He's got a call to make, and the call is goal kick. Brighton breeze free day in the Basque country. The wind certainly the sails of the home side. And welcome to Lizana. My uh, jubilant home crowd in the first half. Hasn't been anything to cheer since half time. Amasaga, Peke, and Ascona. Best control from Bibiana. Valdezarte. First time ball. Only Hane. Watched out well by Echasso. First season at the club. Ten years with Real Sociedad before moving across. Closing in on 300 career apps now. Fainaku. Work this one forward. Each time it seems to be that Lee is the intended target, but bringing her into play is another question. She's a clear talent and she's been singled out. 
by the athletic defence. That might be to the benefit of Barbara Lopez. Bibiana's ball downfield. I'm aside with the chase, I'm aside up. You get there. There's Peke in the centre. Time to go alone for now. Peke coming in for it, but we sound the whistle first. And, uh, a difficult one. Losing a footing and that led to the follow-up challenge that you certainly felt the force of. The uh, intended result from Zala Mershnik. Maria Navarro's throw in. Can't find a recipient in red. Saga seems to be moving fine though after her knock. Valdezato. <laughs> Why not go it alone? She thinks. Oihane has options. One of them is Ascona. Use the quick feet this time. Rather presents it to Barbara. In back though. Oihane again. Valdezato. Bibiana. Maria Navarro. Bursting through. Stopped eventually by Sandra Castellot. Castellot upended as a result. And Maria Navarro not happy about that. Oh, with the coaching staff of Maria Itaregi, by the looks of it. Opportunities brewing, and opportunities brewing on the bench too. Oh. Right, it's a reggae, pensive as ever. The side have done the job so far. And Santana loses out. We're going to see a change for the away side too. It's going to be Adete, Adete Theresa. Another attacking option. Sporting well are going for this still. Have to come out and feel all guns blazing in the second half. Or take up. He's got pace. So is Oihane. Steady option back to Valdezate. fraction of a second before Barbara, but Barbara leaving enough in the challenge to steer possession back for Sporting Volva. Mushnik's ball allowed to bounce. Harney jumps into the challenge. It's time with Castillo. Castillo felt that one. Albert Valentin close by, wasn't going to miss that. Barbara well acknowledging the quick thinking of her teammate but perhaps not quite ready for 17 year old there's been a spark since coming on at the break provided more of an attacking outlet nothing concrete to show for it so far we're entering towards that final half an hour of the game Kuntero Quite got the pace to get to that one. Opportunity brewing. Stopped again at the back. Ray Nevado, right place, right side. 
Bob Azante. Bibiana sees off Lee. Saga again got there first, couldn't get the control, and Ortega was right over her shoulder. It is Ortega that wins it back, though. Ortega again, and Saga to navigate around Anna Carroll. The veteran defended as well. And Saga still clearly struggling from that knock, and it looked as if she might have recovered. We're going to see a raft of changes. These will be the first for the home side as well. Twenty-nine minutes to make an impact. And Riley, you can see going off there. You can see Amanda Edgren ready to come on too. The first change is going to be ADT. And who will Edgren come on to replace? Twenty-nine-year-old Swedish winger. Anna Saga and surprisingly the swap. Physically. And, um, opportunity for Edate to come along the place. A disappointment for Amasaga there. It was a strong first half and she looked to build on it into the second. Unable to run off that knock. Power. Verona and Arte. And instead. Plenty of time still for Huelva, but something needs to change. Been able to find that killer touch. Certainly a threat in the first half. What will that mean? Ade Tate, as she goes by. Here's Edgren. Nice touch for her. Beaten by Balizate. Still there. Now how will the absence of Amasaga be felt down that left flank? Lorena Vardes has plenty to say so far herself. Chance to join the likes of Atletico Madrid, Madrid, Club de Football, Real Madrid, now Sustied out Barcelona, all with opening wins yesterday. And this present scoreline will see Athletic rise straight to the very summit of La Liga Efe. Mihane, casual and the follow up ball down the line, not into the path of Adete. Or of Barbara. And at present, Levante lead Alhama with two goals to one. And kicking off concurrently with this one. Trouble well by Edgar. Maybe an opportunity here. The first sniff of an opening, but it's snuffed out once more. Bibiana sold as a rock at the back. And with a more tentative clearance this time. It was a risky ball played out by Valdezarte, but it's picked up nonetheless, and a chance for Mariana to take it forward. Accuracy lacking. Some untidy challenges going in in the centre of the park. Mariana. Advantage played. As Ortega out wide, uses her. Mariana. Mihani, Mariana again, Peke, it's on too much, stolen back by Huelva, Adete can't control though, and it seems to start again, Athletic firmly in command. Alana chips down the line but to no avail, and at the very least, 
Sporting Valga have managed to stem the flow of goals. All three coming in the first half. Amisaga and Ascona's strikes bookending the first period. Peke in the middle of those two. For the first time, Carlo Valentin. Now it's coming to action, there might be an effort here and just cruising over, not finding the accuracy we had in the first half. Pala Rolana trying her luck. up into danger straight away. We're done here, down the right. We harney. Mariana. Ortega. Mariana again, sees it from Perke. And trying the aerial ball. The goalkeeper having to watch it. National equal to it. Challenge strong. Nice into the park from Castillo. We've seen a few loose lunges come in so far. And Vanessa Santana was the recipient of that first yellow card. We walk that proverbial tightrope for the rest of it. And it hasn't been a game that's been played in bad spirits at all. Carl Valentin hasn't had too much to get involved with over the course of the 68 minutes. Nevado's throw. Crushing challenge once again. Chasso edging forward. Mariana was calling for that one. Mihani. As I'll take it down the line. Mariana giving away. Maybe a chance. Adete can't get there. Ahead of Valizate. And still that centre back pairing. Bags of Naus between them. He's just doing everything they can to sniff out any meagre opening. And 22 years old, Valizate. Athletic her whole career. B team product closing in on 100 appearances now. Volga must find a way through. Santana with a long ball. Arete looking across for the flag, and finger wag tells you all you need to know. She thought she timed her run well. We'll have a look. There have been a couple of calls that the assistants haven't quite got right so far. That's certainly worth another look. It's very tight with Valdezarte. Not to be the Sporting Club, but perhaps they will just start to feel that it's not going to be their day. It was the second best in almost every category in the first half, but sometimes the rub the green needs to go your way as well. Ed Grimm, edge of the area. Can she find a way through? First bit of trouble for Quinones, and she's lost it. And now, this could spell trouble. There's men at the back post, and just couldn't bring it into Edgar, despite the tall, lumbering figure. And we'll take it, happy to mop that one up. Mariana away, here's the counter. Mariana battling for it, but no match in the end for the spirit of Anna Carroll. And Quinones. We said that she needed to stay fresh. This is the first time in a long time she's had to play out with her feet and was almost caught out. And Castello, using her quick thinking to outwit the goalkeeper and a smart decision from the stopper to just hold her ground in the end and not risk a challenge. 
doesn't come back to bite Athletic. More changes in the offing. Maya Itaregi. Edgwin. Cool touch. Arete. Well, it's starting to flow a little better at times, but a comfortable enough save from Quinones. A little bit of trickery from the Swede, rolling it off the back of the heel. Nadete with a clean enough connection with the goalkeeper standing firm. Paulo Romero. Maybe it's not Mariana. Mariana bundling forward. And Hane as a recipient. Patria Haider. As Palmas born defender again into stop. Some more action on the home bench. Nagitha, very too keen to overstep the mark and was keen to get straight on. In the way, have been brought back, so it will be a chasso. He leaves the field. Eighteen minutes left to make an impact. And it goes in the way. Long time servant of the club. Geetha, 22 year old. So, backing up plenty of games. Bill Bowborn, who's just 18 years old. So, we'll join the ranks in the centre of the park, too. Further danger for Sporting Huelva. Nerea Navardo making her way across. There's a passion throughout this one. What will it be on the end of this one? Free header straight at the goalkeeper. That was a chance to really hammer it home. And can the counter be quickly thought of? Sniffed out by Ohane. Zana Mershnik wasn't tested. This match has been beyond out for quite some time, but lovely delivery from Nerea Navardo. And a header plumb at the goalkeeper either side. And asked the question what all Paulo Arana could do was tap an easy save on the Slovenian. A momentary misstep there, and an uncharacteristic one at that. Viviana. He sees it from Valdezarte. Risky ball through the middle, but it's effective in fouling Paula Arana. Get past Castellolo. Shying away from a tackle either. Awkward ball back, and Odizate has to be quick to beat Adete. It's the first time I've seen Araya Ritaregi sat down during this one. Perhaps at 3 0, she feels the side have got enough for the lead, and there's no doubt already looking forward to the future. Improvement last season for Athletic, 7th out of 16 from 11th of 18 the season before, but still a 13 point gap to European football. The Neskak. What a thing to do. And it's done well. Ortega chasing to get there ahead of Kuhn. The American 
manages to fend her off, but the Arana she has to deal with next, and she's managed that too. Colorado Blancu, here's Castillo. Bit much for Barbara to contend with. And it's back to Martin Antoué. Valdezarte. Irene Ogitha. The teenager wants it back. Thinks about the release and Edgren and Arete teaming up just to stop it. There comes the long ball. Maria Nevado. And a similar scene to the one we saw in the first half. Athletic happy to hold the ball and nobody forcing the issue. Comfortably ahead in this one as Kuhn goes flying after the challenge from Ohane. <laughs> Ohane. Perhaps asked a little bit too much of herself and was just beaten to it. Radizate. Not the most assured header she's hit her this afternoon. She's not found out though. Marta Uncle forward. Ortega. Looks out well. Uncle with the ball. Still there. Ascona. Not going to go, but. Looking equal. There's so much pace on either flank. A quick feet from Ortega. She'll be a real talent into the future. And such a focus on homegrown talent and athletic. And there is the men's team in the sense that only local players will link to the Basque Country are brought in. And so many will come through from the B team in the second division. Valdezarte. She's become steadily more wayward. And there's Barbara to win it back. Can she find Adete? Adete into the penalty area. Up against the defence. Barbara's going to go for it. Didn't get the curl she wanted. Balba desperately trying with the link-up play, but it's in vain at the moment. Adete. Twisting and turning and setting up the 17-year-old, but couldn't wrap her right boot around it. Valdezarte and Ortega to chase. May not quite have the pace for this one. In a tangle. The goal kick is the signal from the assistant referee, Patria Haida. Who's been in many a such battle in her time. Doesn't face the 31 year old. More movement on the benches. Sophia Hagman is getting ready to come on. Wayward kick from Mershnik. Too much for Barbara to deal with on the touchline. And a slim slice of solace might come Bulba's way if they can keep the second half level as it is now. You get no points for playing after 45. They've conceded three before the interval, but Antonio Toledo will have to gear his side up for the forthcoming. Hammer at home next on Saturday for Sporting Huelva. They were told they could be able to play at the Nuevo Colombino, which is the home of Recreativa de Huelva, the men's team. Formerly of La Liga, they were after a raft of financial troubles, relegated to the fifth division last season before building up back to the fourth. And at the moment, it's understood that facilities aren't quite at the level to allow two teams to ground share, but that is the plan down the line. the home match with Sevilla with Sporting Club last Sunday due to the strike. Bibiana. <laughs> so 
Trading passes with Quinones. Nere Nevado. The honor again. Aldazate had to wait for it, and Adete was catching up. Aldazate once again through the middle. Marta Umthue, that's where it ends. Second by to the cherry, though. So fair better this time. Has options too. Just stretching the pass. And away is Barbara. Now, can she find the space? Watched all the way by Ohane. It's just enough to find the goalkeeper. Kuhn, that's Ortega, but Ortega gets a touch and that will prove enough. Give away once more though, Castillo, Edgren, and Romero in the confrontation now. Find herself in a tight spot, it's taken back off up. Strong play from Paula Arana, does concede the throw though, Sporting. Can't seem to find a way through, but the free kick might help with that. Ray Nevado penalised. Another well, set of changes. Sophia Hagman will make her way on. First Peke outgoing. Scorer of the second. Fantastic start to the new season for her. Hagman. Does make it up. And the Carne Diet. Here's the replacement. And she sees out these final few minutes. 31 year old, vastly experienced, making her 360th appearance in the red and white of athletic. Has to defend the corner first, though. Spilt by the goalkeeper. And things of a chance, five back in. The flag is up on the far side, Egren. Pushing past the line. Anna Carroll. Seemingly needing some treatment on the bench. It was actually Kuhn that was flagged off. Coming back from that position and whether it was unsighting the goalkeeper rather than challenging for the ball. It, the way it's fallen many a time today. Sporting well, but they'll feel they've been on the wrong end of some offside decisions, as will Athletic. The uh, direction in which this game has gone from the opening minute has never really looked like changing ever since Johnny Amisaga put the home side into the lead, firing in from very close range after a spill from Mershnik. Then came Peke, nothing up after Initial missed effort from Mariana, six yards out. Some confusion after the goal, but stand it did. There was to be no confusion. But Ascona is third, arguably the pick of the bunch. Well timed finish to close out the first half and Athletic and steady in the dominance in the second. A bright performance from Ortega today. Teenager, one of many young starlets, counting this as a season to make count at the summer. All the dominance of the likes of Barcelona, Real Sociedad be broken. Number three, this is an offer for European football, including the qualifiers. All right, it's a rate will be trying to shut that 13 point gap this season. Carney out to the left. Here's the chance. Oh, a wobble off the crossbar. And the goalkeeper didn't see it. Merstick beaten all ends up. She might have to do more here. Dangerous cross again and clears the crossbar. And well, always asking the question. Paolo Arana couldn't keep her header down. But a defensive mix up 
and it just sums up Sporting Stay. Nikane with the quick thinking to bring in Arana. Might have had a touch from the defender. Goalkeeper was nowhere near it. Ortega quick on the follow-up. Arana will feel she should have done better. Convincing from the substitute, staking her claim to replace in Iraya Itaregi's plans going forward. Adete and again, Valdezate is first to it. Ogitha. Ogitha with space to run into here. Castillo trying to put an end to that. The flag stayed down. Nakani was in there. Flag has gone up. And keen to make a bench cameo count. And has just overstepped the mark. One of the tighter calls. Restix ball out, dealt with by Bibiana. Sorting to aerial play now. Route one stuff. Velvet, it's not come off for them so far. Into the path of Nsue. Can't control though. Chance to break perhaps for Barbara. Goes for the chip over the top. Adete takes it on the chest. Got past Valdezarte. She's been caught up though. Has to find Edgren far side of the box. It's always curling away. And the ideas have been there. Now they take certainly laying claim to a starter's jersey too. It's been positive and a highlight for Sporting Club since she came on for the second half, but too little too late in the grander scheme of things. But Antonio Toledo's side. Well beaten today. Head up. From Kuhn. Two goes a tip. Possibly a chance if Edgar can get away, but was never quite going to have the pace to threaten the goalkeeper. Steady stop for Quinones. Marta Untue. Is there one final attack? But no goals in this second half. Could that change? The passes of the like. Ray Navarro wins in the final minute. Arana. Stopped by Paolo Romero. Castillo. Coons. Well, inaccurate. She'll get another go. And right in front of the nose of the referee. That one was never going to escape punishment. Is there hope of a consolation? Perhaps he's off Coon, though. Ortega. To Oihani. Aldizarte. Bibiana again. Assured performance from her. Unsue trying to bend it out to Arana. Not quite come off. Minate trying to move it out to the side. Need to borrow time. Well, they're still holding out hope of a consolation as they chip forward. Not going to reach Barbara. In two minutes, a call for the added. Plenty of football still to be had. And there has to be an arm in the challenge. The referee quick to come across and penalise Paolo Romero. Maybe a yellow card for her. I don't think we have too many complaints. 
second of the game, and both fourth well over following Vanessa Santana. Lorana just too quick for her. Chance on the set piece. A high line to contend with. And Athletic round off this opening win with a plum. Oh, Valentine just mediating in the centre. Here it comes. It's going to skim awkwardly off the heads. And the offside will put paid to the decision as to whether it's going to be a corner or a goal kick. Just a fraction for Nikane, who hasn't quite timed her runs well since coming off the bench, but has been keen, perhaps too keen, to get on the end of everything. Very well challenged one. Ed Grant. Looking to the flanks once more. Tackle punish though, Ade take. And Fane Innocence. And Athletic and had a stranglehold on this one. And there from Calvo Valentin is the final whistle. That will be all we have time for today. It's a win for Iraya Ituregi's girls. Strong from the off with an opening minute goal. Johnny Amasaga. Getting us underway, Peke following up from close range and a wonderful strike to cap it off right in the stroke of half time from Ascona. That did the damage. Sporting Huelva made a better account of themselves in the second half, but it's defeat on the Andalusian side to open the season. And shakes all round. The match played wholeheartedly in a good spirit. An inquisition to be had now. Among Antonio Toledo's units in front of a home crowd. The victory by three goals to nil belongs to Athletic Club. And they move on forward with three points to their name. And they rise after that 3-0 win to the very top of the table. 3-0.